I'm suspecting I have a wheel bearing going out on the other side. This is the one that I think is okay. It spins easy, smooth, and it coasts. There's very little sound. Now we're going to go look at the other one. Now here's the one that I think there's something wrong with. I think this is where the noise is coming from. Seems like there is a little noise, but it doesn't coast at all. Watch. So something's wrong with that. Probably the bearing. Okay, it looks like the part got here for my wheel bearing for the Neon. I bought it on Amazon from Prime Choice Auto Parts. And it is a well, imagine that, it's a prime choice part. Part number right on here too. Okay, we have the tire and wheel pulled off. We're gonna pull the the cap off so we can get to the nut under there just using a regular screwdriver. And we also have the pry bar here if we need it. And we also have a small hammer. There, it popped loose. So we're just gonna keep turning it and prying it off so we get it off e even, evenly. Pretty easy. I'm just using my hand now after it popped, and there it is. There's the cap, and you can see the big uh, nut in there that we're going to have to remove next. Okay, now we're going to take the hub off. Take this big 30 millimeter nut. We got a 30 millimeter socket. Take this big nut off, and the hub should pull right out. And in case you're wondering, this thing is supposed to have 160 foot-pounds of torque when we put it back on. But for right now, we'll loosen this up and then pull the brake down. If you're interested, it's probably a good time to do the brakes as well, but we're not going to do that. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of feedback saying I should do the brakes now, but I'm not going to do the brakes now. The reason why is this car has got 146,000 miles on it. And I just drive it to and from work. And I'm just fixing what breaks at this point. Um, I've given up on the air conditioning this year. So that's what the old one looks like. It's not making any noise here. It feels smooth. There's a lot of crud in there. Um, 
but boy it was make oh you can feel it's not smooth when you put pressure on it it was just making noise when we were driving now here's the new one we had pictures of it at the beginning of the clip you can see this ring here is for analog brakes we could just ignore that it should slide right on like that theoretically you're I've read that uh, Chrysler suggests you use a new nut. I'm not doing that either for the same reasons I'm not doing new brakes. So we're going to snug this up and then go get our torque wrench. Now we went and got our torque wrench. We're going to snug, snug that to 160 foot pounds. We'll also have a link where you can look up those torque measurements. There it is. Now we put the brake drum back on. And then put the wheel back on and we're done total time about I don't know 10 minutes paid I think $19 for the part I'll have the links for that in the comments talk to you later and one last trick we're going to show you when we put this cap on is in order to pound it in evenly it's way down in there if you just get a I think this is an inch and a half plastic pipe fitting gives you something to protect the cap and let you pound it in there evenly it would be even easier if this was actually a plastic cap instead of just a Splice. So we just want to make sure that's tight all the way around. back on.